If humans left the solar system, how long would it take to reach Proxima Centauri? As we know, the Milky Way contains nearly 250 billion stars, our Sunday being just one small star among them. And among all the stars in the universe, the closest to our Sunday is Proxima Centauri, only 4.2 light years away, it resides in the Centaurus constellation, in that direction. As the closest star outside our solar system, if humans piloted modern spacecraft to travel to Proxima Centauri, how long would it take? First, from Earth, to leave the solar system for Proxima Centauri, we need to achieve a speed of 16.7 km per second, the third cosmic velocity to escape the Sun's gravitational pull. For example, the Voyager 1 probe is currently on its way out of the solar system. Since 1977, NASA launched Voyager 1 into space using multiple gravitational slingshot effects to accelerate itself. Finally, it surpassed the third cosmic velocity, reaching 17 km per second equivalent to 500 times the speed of a regular train. This is the fastest speed humanity has achieved so far, but unfortunately, at this speed, modern spacecraft can only travel 0.005 light years every 100 years. Through calculations, this means, to reach Proxima Centauri, 4.2 light years away, humans would need to travel over 73,000 years to arrive. Keep in mind, the number of stars in the universe is counted in billions, and spending 73,000 years to reach Proxima Centauri is merely reaching the Sun's closest neighbor. So then, is there a faster way? The speed of light, fast enough to circle Earth 7.5 times per second, is the fastest speed in the universe. If, in the future, humans develop theoretical warp engines, allowing ships to travel at light speed, then, reaching Proxima Centauri would take just four years. But to go further, leaving the Milky Way, to reach the Andromeda Galaxy, would take 2.54 million years. And to leave the Leniakea Supercluster, would require billions of years. So, even if we travel at light speed in the future, freely exploring the vast universe would remain difficult. Yet, more regrettably, we are still far from reaching light speed, keep in mind. Voyager 1, despite its tremendous efforts, is still less than one ten thousandth of light speed. Thus, the universe is so vast, and that's why humanity may forever be trapped in the solar system.